<clears throat> hey, for those of you who are looking to to actually uh, make an acquisition, once you have acquired a uh, a company, or even before the uh, the company is acquired, here's what I would recommend: is put together. A, actually, I would work with the owner and really have them do the legwork on this because you don't really have to. Uh, what I would do is I would send them basically a uh, a Google Doc or a Google spreadsheet, really, um, of uh, basically what you want to get is a list of all the different um, services or products that they sell, um, what price point they're at, and what the margin is, uh, what they sell it for. And um, the reason you do that, and then of course, actually, thereafter, uh, you look at that client base and, and figure out what uh, penetration they've got across all those verticals. Um, if you just simply do that, um, you're going to, well, first of all, they're going to be like, oh, wow, I'm like way underselling what my potential is. But then also gives you a good um, uh, barometer or gauge of, of actually how much penetration they've got among their existing accounts. Not, not even uh, hunting new accounts, which of course we all know is uh, considerably more expensive than um, just selling more to the people that who, who already uh, you have goodwill and trust with. So this is just a quick tip. I thought I would, um, uh, uh, I thought I would just share this real fast. This is something we're implementing, although late, uh, in our business, um, and uh, it is uh, basically the um, this is the the uh, origin point of now where our uh, some of our marketing efforts are going to go towards um, uh, marketing to our existing accounts. So I thought I would share. Thank you. Bye.